right, so I wanted to make a quick video on the improvements that I made to my ZMR250 so that you don't have the problems that I had in the beginning and I can save you those headaches. Now, as you can see here, I just want to start with the propellers. Now, I did replace the propeller bolts with these bolts. They're just 5 millimeter bolts. They fit right on the motors, but these are special bolts. These bolts that lock down on the propeller, they have a auto locking mechanism in them. It's a little rubber grommet and it prevents them from backing off. So they won't unscrew while you're flying. Now, I've replaced all four of my propellers with those bolts and in my previous video I told you to replace them with just normal bolts but those can actually come off so I highly recommend these uh, auto locking bolts and I've got a link in the video description. The next thing I want to point out is the piezo buzzer. Now I have a link in the video description as well for this. Now this little guy is super helpful. I almost lost my quad one of the first times out and I had no way of finding it so I just configured a switch on my remote so that when I flip this switch the buzzer goes off. Now the buzzer is just a plug and play it just plugs directly into the nays but you can see that it plugs in vertically so you need to use the smallest nylon standoffs when building that center column so it fits between the two plates of the frame. The next thing I want to show you is this camera. This is an upgraded camera. It's a run cam off of Amazon. It's also a Sony 600 TVL but you can see I've just zip tied it here to the frame to secure it and this thing is great. Now if you look at the side of the camera it's got a little screw and you can loosen that up to tilt the camera. I've slightly tilted it up so I can see where I'm going and uh, this thing is awesome. I highly recommend this camera over the other one. Now I did upgrade my video transmitter to the Immersion 600 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter. I tried out these two antennas, the, one, the aftermarket one and the one that came with it, but the black one is really just as good as the other one, so I just chalk it up to the blue helicoil is just cheap. So definitely recommend replacing the video transmitter with the Immersion 600 milliwatt transmitter. You're just going to get a better reception and not going to lie, I bought three of the SkyZone transmitters and one of them actually caught fire. Another one broke and uh, something happened to the other one, I forget. So definitely recommend upgrading those things. Those are the key components. Some of the things that I haven't upgraded yet but I do recommend is an OSD. An OSD is so that you can see vital information about let's just say your battery voltage so that you don't just fall out of the sky because your battery dies and you end up losing your quad. So I actually have my quad set on a timer so that when I'm flying the timer kicks in as soon as I take off and I actually set my buzzer to go off when my cell voltage reaches critical level so I can hear that when I'm flying and I know when to, know when to land. I, I don't usually fly out of earshot and in conjunction with the timer that I have I kinda have an idea as to when that battery is gonna die and when I need to come in so um, those are some things that I don't have. Another thing that I don't have that I, that I do recommend is a, just a better antenna. I am using the stock black rubber duck antennas and they're not that great that's why you see a little bit of static in the video because that is the video from my FPV goggles that's the DVR uh, playback in the sky zone 3d goggles so that's why there's a little bit of static I think that would clear up with just a better antenna especially combined with the immersion 600 video transmitter which is awesome I really hope you enjoyed this whole series I do plan on taking more video in the coming weeks um, I'm going to hook up a GoPro just so I get some better footage and uh, look forward to that that's gonna be awesome I'm gonna fly in some really cool places and so again I really appreciate you guys watching these videos and commenting and subscribing it means a lot I put a lot of effort into this build and it was a lot of fun so with that being said Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.